beloved, you are listening to Grace Life Komi Podcast, a platform commissioned by God to raise men into completeness in Christ Jesus. We believe that you will be blessed beyond measure as you give yourself wholly to this divinely inspired teaching. Through God's servant Pastor Chimdi Ohahuna. Grace to you, Jesus is Lord. God thanks and praise for yesterday's meeting. It was awesome. Yeah, we appreciate God for what a great start it was for this power conference 2022. And uh, we trust the Lord for a greater time today. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Um, this conference um, is a conference that reminds us of the power we have in Christ. Yes, yeah, we, we, we need, if it possible, to do power conference every month. Because we just have to stay reminded, you know, so we can keep worrying. After the conference yesterday, I was refired, seriously refired, and you know, it 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 awakens the lion in me. Praise God forevermore. And I, I woke up by twelve. After minutes after twelve minutes, this morning, I was making dangerous declarations, total declarations. Amen to Jesus. Amen. All right. So this conference um, is. Package for us and for everyone who wants to live the life that Christ has for them. Amen to Jesus. Amen. All right, today we're going to be looking at um, another beautiful topic, which, uh, by the help of the Holy Spirit, is um, the location of power. The location of power. The location of power. Now, having understood that God's final provision of power is in the person of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we must know where the power of God is located in Jesus and how to use the power of God. You see, these are technical things that we must take note of. Yes, we know that the power of God is in Christ, but where in Christ is it located? We must know where it's located. Because if we don't know where it's located, we can just keep shouting, I have power. I am in Christ. Christ is in me. There is power. But we are not seeing the power of God manifest in our lives. And so that's the reason why we need to know this and then know how to use it when the need arises. Praise God forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Now so, where in Jesus is the power of God located? Where in Jesus is the power of God located? Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 says, Wherefore God has, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, and that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen to Jesus. So this verse of scripture makes us understand that power is only in the name of Jesus. Power is only located in where? The name of Jesus. Praise God forevermore. Praise the Lord. It's only located in the name of Jesus. You see, um, um, we there are many diff- um, locations that people may see power with people, but we we'll get to understand why it is only in Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Praise God forevermore. Hallelujah to Jesus. This is so because all authority in heaven and on earth have been given to Jesus. All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to Jesus. Matthew 28, verse 18 says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power, all power in heaven and in earth have been given to Jesus. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Now, so that means when all power in heaven and in earth have been given to Jesus, heaven and earth avoid your power because it's in Jesus. I get what I'm saying? Amen. So the Father took all the power in heaven and all the power in heaven and he placed it in Jesus. So as it were, you want to look for where power is in heaven, look at Jesus. You want to look for where power is on earth, look at Jesus. So the the, 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 the location of power is Jesus and in his name. That's the location. Where is power located? In the name of Jesus. As simple as it may sound, but that's the location of power. If you look any other way for power, any other place of power, you will see power. You will see power. The people that are looking for power in different locations, different places. You see, one of the things that God has trained me in the few years, in these few years, He has one of the things that trained me to do is to look up to Him on the Lord. Because most of the time when I feel like talking to somebody, I tell myself, the person he has, he has his own problem. He has his own problem. He's trying to, he's trying to get God's attention. Don't say I'm trying to get God's attention. 
So why bother somebody that needs the attention of God? As I need the attention of God. Oh, the man of God that I think that is ministering to people, he has something he's crying to God for. There's this something that looks like he's delaying in his life. There's this something that looks like he's waiting on the Lord for. He's still trying to push his faith to some to, 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 to achieve something. So if that is the case of all of us, then it's simple. Let's go to the power base, to the location of power. Instead of looking for power in places where it doesn't reside, I rather prefer to go to the base. Are we together? Yes. This makes us understand that prior to when all power was given to Jesus, there was power in heaven and there was power on earth. That means before power, all power, because Jesus says, it says, and Jesus began to say, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So before all power was given to Jesus, there was power in heaven, that is God the Father. Are you getting what I'm saying? And there was power on earth with man. You can understand that very important. Very important. You can understand that very important. Because when God made man, he made man his image and likeness. And he blessed man with two components that were not in the blessing given to that creature. And those were the power components. We have been looking at subdue, one of the power components. So what does that mean? God put, God put power on earth by subdue and the power dominion. And he also maintained power in heaven. So power was, was located in heaven and on earth. Why? Because God made man to represent him. And he made man to make earth a colony of heaven. Simple. And the prototype he gave to man to make earth a colony of heaven was the Garden of Eden. That's the prototype. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, so you may say, um, heaven is street are paved with gold and this and that and that. Now, God's uh, architectural plan for heaven was different from the architectural plan for earth. But earth was meant to be a colony of heaven. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. And the prototype that God gave to Adam to use to now make the earth. A full blown colony of heaven was a garden of heaven. So, man's failure to do that was all landed on the way we have today. And to do that effectively, God had to put power on earth with man and also had power, kept power in what? Heaven. Are we together? Praise God forevermore. That makes us understand that. There was and is, and there will never be any power in hell. Yes. Because Jesus said the two locations of power. He, he made it plain to us the two locations of all power in heaven and on earth. If Jesus did not have had hell, that means there is no power in hell. I get what I'm saying. What the devil uses is that he uses our power against us. Example, fear. Once the devil shoots the arrow of fear, he uses the willpower of our mind to fight against us. Yeah. This symptom is a symptom of cancer. Are you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he allow he waits if we will agree with it. Once we agree with it, he now uses our willpower to destroy us. That's all he does. He doesn't have power to destroy us. But when we vet, when we give a vet, when we allow his antiques and his arrow shot at us to, to have a root in us, then we now give power to the things he has shot at us. I cannot feel. Even David understood it, that's why he said, Be long life to the Lord, so I just want to show me salvation. David understood it, that's why he said, I shall not die, but to defend the word of the Lord. Why? When he was saying those things, we don't understand why he was saying it. Do you know, the, back, do you know the, the fears that have come against him because of the battles? It's his battles. I believe maybe the 40th battle, the way, went, the way that battle went, he almost died. And then he said, man, with long life, with the Lord satisfied me and show me salvation. Maybe the 50th battle, he, 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 if I see him see death, he said, I shall not die. They live to defend the word of the land of the living. Oh, we heard of, this, of the battle where he was fighting and he became weary. And one of the giants, one of the brass of Goliath, wanted to kill him. And one of his men came out and rescued him. And he said, let the let David never follow us to battle again. Let the, let the light of Israel be put out. It's those kind of near-death experience that made him say, I shall not die. 
Because the devil had thrown arrows of death and fear at him. But he refused to put a rubber stamp on what the devil threw. So if we refuse, um, if we refuse to put a rubber stamp on what the devil throws at us, it has no right to affect us. It's as simple as that. There is no power in hell. There is only power in man and power in God. So what man allows, that's what God, Jesus said, he said, whatsoever you bind on earth is what? Bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth is losing heaven. That also buttresses the fact that power was only based in two locations. You cannot bind and lose anything in hell. There's no power there. Are you getting what I'm saying? So what we allow is allowed. What we disallow is disallowed. If two of you shall agree, a certain thing shall be established. It shall be done by the Father in heaven. It is still based on us. So what we don't allow, the devil cannot force it on us. What we allow, the devil does not be able to force it. We have accepted it. That's why you don't accept verdicts. You don't accept satanic things. When, when some people came and they were telling us something, we, I, I do not want to tell them and say, shut up, you devil. But I use, they, they saw the wisdom before I told them, you are talking like you are talking from the book of heaven. I will not accept it. It's my choice to accept the satanic verdict or not. When the doctors told me I had cancer initially, later, they said it was too much. Ultras and showed that it And they said they would cut off a part of my body. I did not accept the verdict. It's the verdict you have said that we stand for you. It's as simple as that. So the devil has no power to superimpose his cause, his diseases, and all of that on us. But we have the power to overstand them or reject them. It's as simple as that. And the day Christians realize this, and then he said, when, when the Lord hit him up his heart, he should. You know? And he said, from time to time, the later on, there was the, the, the pain came again, the pain came again. And the devil was telling him one man of things on the, he was hearing the devil telling you that you are dead, you are gone. And all the man of things the devil told him. He said, and scriptures came into his heart, with long life of the Lord satisfy me and show me salvation. Tell her, you won't satisfy means until I am satisfied. I cannot. He said he was how many years then? Yeah. I said, okay, if that's the case, I will. For the next 20 years, I will not be satisfied. He had it on that 20 years. For the next 40 years, I will not be satisfied. He had it another uh, 60 years, then about. But at the end of the day, when he did all his calculation, his satisfaction he ended was at 85. He died at 86, or then about. He passed at 86. So he was even over satisfied. It's what you rubber stamp that, 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 that happens in your life. Uh huh. Are you getting what I'm saying? So there's no power in hell. There's only power in hell. There was only power in heaven. There was only power in heaven and power on earth. Even when Lucifer fell at night, when he fell, and he went to hell, power in hell. There was no power. He just keeps making a mess of our mind, you know, as Christians. That's why what this thing is a very important thing, but I don't know still long today. Praise God forevermore. Now, being that all power has been given to Jesus, all power resides in him. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, God. God the Father, there was power in heaven, and then he gave power to man, Adam, to make earth like heaven. Are you getting what I'm saying? But now man failed. Are you getting me? And now God brought the power back in the person of Jesus. But now this was what he now did. He didn't just bring the power in Jesus. You know, the power that man lost. He added his own, the Father added his own power to the power of man. So there will be no excuse at all this time. So anyone who received Jesus, you're on high tension power. Adam must have said, oh, the power I had was just the power of it that was given to me as a man. I didn't have the power of God, so I could not resist it. Are you get what I'm saying? Oh, I could not flee. I could not say, you know, and everyone must have had my, my have excuse, but I got saved. I don't want any excuses again. Listen, man, I give my own power. I have my own power to the power I gave to man so that the devil cannot have a say at all. Are you get what I'm saying? Are you getting me? Yes. Now, that's the reason why when the devil came to tempt Eve, Eve fell like a pile of crap. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because man was operating in the power of subdue and dominion, which was, as it were, the power that God gave to man. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, I'm just starting with subdue, and we're going to be progressing and going on. Are you getting what I'm saying? To the power that God gave to man. But when the devil came to tempt Jesus, he didn't know something. He, see, the devil was able to like flood him. Because it was, let me say, was subdued and dominion they were operating in. Are you getting what I'm saying? On the earth plane. But when he came to Jesus, he did not understand what he was operating in. Jesus was not operating in the power on the earth. 
He was operating in, in the power that the Father gave to him, plus the power that was on earth. He said, all power in heaven and on earth. So, you see, if somebody that was operating in the power, with the power on earth could be flawed, yes, no problem, it can be flawed. Are you getting what I'm saying? But you don't try a person that is operating with the power that is in heaven and the one that is on earth. That means he, he, he's on a, he's on a, on a, re, on a level that you, can, you cannot come close. And the temptation he gave to, the, to Jesus was similar to the temptation he gave to Eve. But Jesus made him understand that I'm not operating on the earth level power. I'm operating on the power in heaven also. So you know what? Satan, you know the power you saw in heaven. That power that you saw, that you said I, that I want to be like the most high and make my, my, my throne in the, uh, 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 in the heaven and, and, and ascend to the heaven and be like the most high. That power you saw, that you were eyeing, are you getting what I'm saying? That power you were eyeing, that power, you see, that power, I have it. And also the power that you also, when you fell, you sat there eyeing. Now, when Lucifer was in heaven, he was eyeing the power that the, the most I had. Mm. Now, when he fell, he started eyeing the power wow. of man. What a, what a tragedy. What a, tra- what a tragedy. So, all his life, he lived eyeing power. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. See, but Jesus comes, and what Lucifer was eyeing in heaven, it was given to him. What Lucifer was eyeing on earth, it was given to him. Ah, when Lucifer looked at him, he said, This is trouble. See, we don't know what who we have, who we have, and who we have by having Christ on the inside of us. Because what Lucifer eyed in heaven and what Satan eyed on earth is what was compressed and put into Jesus, and Jesus was put in us. So we don't know who we are. What Satan could never get, what Lucifer could never get, and Satan could never get, is what we got by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, we didn't pay no price for it. He paid the price to give it to us. The one stupid devil will come and say, what to get me? You will die like a chicken. You wake up and you say, you want to come and make some enchantment. Your tongue will cling to the roof of your mouth. Do you know the, the high voltage? A, 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 a young man climbed a high, 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 uh, high, uh, a high voltage um, um, electric, uh, electric pole. And the, 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 the voltage just finished it. He fell from there. He fell from there. High voltage. High voltage. That, that, I even saw somebody painting and he mistakenly touched electric wire. The voltage was not, he was, it's not, um, the voltage is not like this high voltage that that person climbed up. This one was painted and his paint brush is actually touched the um, the electric, uh, the, the pole, pole wire that was passing. If you see the way the guy shattered, everywhere went boom! See, like, like fire, everywhere went boom! The guy shouted, and, see, and it fell straight, it still became black. You have to rush him. That could be likened to the power net. Then the one that now went and now climbed the high voltage. That carries 66 kV wires, those wires that when you're under them, you get close, then you get. What do you want to survive? Jesus had the two of them together. And so the devil came and said, This is bad market. Bad market. <laughs> Praise God, Trevor. Hallelujah. So, being that all power has been given to Jesus, all power resides in him. And being that Jesus has given up authority to us, we can stand in his stead to exercise all the power in heaven and on earth. Yeah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hey, you see, Jesus, you know what? He said, all oh, power has been given unto me. Then he said, in heaven and on earth. And he said, I give you the same power. I give unto you power. See, I'm stepping out of the sin on earth so that you can shine my shine here. So that you can exude my power here. So that you can throw my weight in. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. See, we are, we, we, we are not, we are not, you see, we are not born again just to, 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 to die and go to heaven. No! We are born again to throw the weight of your will mm. So that when the devil is trying to, to forget that the power he was eyeing in heaven and he was eyeing on earth, he's still on earth here. Yeah. Mm. We can show him that he's still on earth. Uh-huh. Because sometimes it, it's not like forget, he tries to forget. That's why 
he throws all these all these all these arrows at us and all this because he tries to forget that he has forgotten. But we have to remind him that the power you were eyeing in heaven and the one you were eyeing on earth is that they combine and put in us. We have to remind him. We have to remind him. We'll, we, we'll keep reminding him. Since he tries to forget, we'll get his memory straight for him. Yes. That's why any, any, any force that wants to hover around, this is, this is no flight zone. Yes. Any force that wants to hover around, high tension fire, high tension power, we strike the force down in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Any any divination, any enchantment, as they are as they are whining, as they are opening their mouth, and you're not shaka. They are told we cling to the roof of their mouth, they will never speak forever again in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Every brain that thinks evil of us. Instant migraine with no cure in the name of Jesus. Amen. We 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 remind the devil. That the two powers he was eyeing, they are residing in us. When that person told us, say, if all of this play, ba 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 and I told one of their extended relatives, I said, ah, I've seen your likes. I've seen your likes. And they wanted to try to empower us it too. We have to remind the devil that the power has not left the earth. Yes. Jesus left it with us so that we will shine. So we we'll deal with some devils. So we we'll flock some, we we'll flock some. We need to flock some. We need to flock some devils. He lets it also with flocks on devils. Yes. So it's a it place where Christians are, are running their task because of some small, small devils. Small, small devils. No, 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 no. The devils have to run their task because of us. Mm. Having understood that all power is in the name of Jesus Christ only, when we want to exercise our spiritual authority, our faith must be placed only in the name of Jesus, not in any medium. Yes. Only in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Only in the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Of knees in heaven and on earth. They bow. They bow. So our faith is placed only in the name of So when you say Jesus, I remember I had a dream a while ago. And I saw, you know, a lion. I was like, I'm going to draw something. And I saw a lion trying to bite my leg. Trying to bite my leg. And I'm like, what is this? I woke up and I said, no, 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 no. The devil is like a running lion. Second, who to be for? Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. This is not Jesus. It is the devil trying to do nonsense. Jesus. So I didn't do anything. I just said Jesus. Because I know the word of God. So I didn't to start binding and casting. No, I know that this is a camouflage. This is a, like a roaring lion. So he wants to take the picture of a lion, but it's not. So I didn't need to do any bad night. I just said, Jesus. 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 And I went back to bed. I didn't see the nonsense again. Jesus. That's all I need. Jesus. When I was about crossing the, uh, the road at the age of 11. 11. I cannot forget. Alone. And I looked left, looked right, and no car was coming. I don't the next. I crossed the thing. That's why sometimes when you have crossed here and don't die, and you see, see some things coming, don't be surprised. <laughs> I said my life, I have been always trying to cross my teeth and dot my eyes. I, I like crossing my teeth and dotting my eyes. Yet, I still see some things that I, pre- I, I, I did not want to see come happen. It has been long. I cross the teeth and dot the I look left, look right, no car coming. Only for me to cross by my left, a fast moving police pickup. You know the way police, those days, police, the way police used to drive. In Nigeria, the, the car was on top seat. Who knows, maybe 100 feet. They drive like, who? And all night, the car was on heavy top speed. All I remember was, at that car, if that car had applied brake, two things, the car would roll over. 
it will tumble over me. It, it, it has to tumble. It must tumble. Even for the brake to apply, once it comes, you have to screech and see it hit me. Or it will tumble over me. But all I did was shout this name Jesus. As I shouted the name Jesus, the car stopped. I'm talking about what I know, not what they told me. It stopped. I leaned on it and I said to everyone, they said, catch him. The police came and said, catch him. The devil said, if we could not kill him with the car running over him, we'll kill him with the blood running, running to his head. Because when, it, when accident did, it begins to run like that. If they fall, they die. He caught me and he calmed me down. And I walked back home. Oh, what about June 20, uh, 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 April 22nd, 2012? When both of us were driving, when we were, I was driving and both of us were going to cut off. And all of a sudden, a car just stood, just, just stopped, just stopped across the road. And I shouted, Jesus, this name can never fail. Yes. Jesus. And swapped my hand, went into a filling station. A small pigment stopped the car and the whole bonnet busted, compressed and busted, the engine busted. I see it ran into a thick metal wall. That name, this name, it does not fail. Yes. It can never fail. Yes. We came out of the car on hearts. And when people saw us coming and they couldn't believe that we are the ones coming out of the whole car. I mean a small pavement stopped the car. They couldn't believe we were the ones coming out of the car. And when we went for checkups, the doctor was checking me up and said, you said you had an accident. I said yes. You mean you said that I said yes. You mean he couldn't believe what he was saying. That is the name Jesus. Yes. Our faith is on that name. Those who don't want to put their faith, they can put it wherever they put it. But I'm talking from experience, sir. This name, it works. Yes. My faith is not in any medium. It is in the name of Jesus. You see, people have learned to put their faith in different things. And not you here. And water. And cloths. Different things. You see, let me tell you. The only location of power is the name of Jesus. Carry anything that is devoid of the name of Jesus. You have just carried a waste of time. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. If it is devoid of the name of Jesus, you have wasted your time. Are you getting what I'm saying? You know the beautiful thing? Before we left that day, we did a writing service in church. And as I got to me, Lord told me, I went to say, I said, but I have not said, the Lord said, I'm going to say it again. But even after I'm waiting, I said, when the incident was face to face, I still have to shout, Jesus. If I say anoint you all year, I'll die like chicken. Yes. I'll die like, like a fly. Are you know what I'm saying? Yes. Even the anointing, the anointing all year could not save. It is the name of Jesus that saved. At the age of 11, the name of Jesus saved. <laughs> it will always save. Are we together? Yes. Because that's where power lies. Just mention the name of Jesus. <laughs> say it with all confidence, Jesus. Release it into the atmosphere, Jesus. Jesus. Just give it out, Jesus. See, let the devil hear the name Jesus. Jesus. Let the devil know that your faith is in the name Jesus. Yes. <laughs> we don't mention the name just like that. We mention the name with revelation. Yes. That that is the location of power. <laughs> That's where power resides. So when we say Jesus, when the Bible says that's not in the Lord that God's name in vain, we don't use it in vain. It's not, it's not a, a hey, Jesus. No, 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 no. When we use the name Jesus, we use it in the relation of power. Mm. That that is the location of power. Yes. That is the, the warehouse of power. That is the power out. That is the that is where power resides. So we stand upon the name of Jesus and we declare Jesus. Jesus. To this atmosphere, Jesus. Jesus. To this environment, Jesus. Jesus. To our families, Jesus. Jesus. To the nations of the earth, Jesus. Jesus. And we say Jesus. Jesus. We decree Jesus. Jesus. We release the name Jesus. Jesus. We release the name Jesus. 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 Mm. This is the right thing to do, and this is what the first disciples did. Same we must do. Faith in the name. 
Jesus. Acts 3 verse 6, Bible says, Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I known, but such as I have I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up! And walk. The Bible says, and the man jumped up and he was walking and leaping and praising the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. We call the name with faith. We call the name in faith. And it has never failed us. Hallelujah. It can never fail us. Amen. It didn't Amen. fail us before. It did not fail us now. Amen. It has never fail us. Amen. After verse 16, verse 18. This is when Paul, you know, went and the girl, the ministry of nation was, was talking and talking and talking. The Bible says, and this, and this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Mm. When Peter used the name of Jesus, lame legs, Received strength yes. and they began to walk. When Paul used the name of Jesus, a demon spirit ran out. Whatever the situation may be, whatever the satanic operations, the name of Jesus is more than enough to cure. Yes. It's more than enough to cast. Yes. It's more than enough to, 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 to deal with it. Yes. What is my secret? Jesus. Jesus. Jamura Katana what is the power in the name of Jesus? What is this power in the name of Jesus? You see, many of us are we don't know this power. See, I'll give you two testimonies. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll give you two testimonies. And these are life-changing testimonies. These are testimonies that I cannot, I cannot preach in my life without saying them. These are testimonies that are very important in my life. Jesus. 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 You see, when we call it with faith, and in faith, it, the name produces outstanding results for us. Yes. We speak Jesus to our bodies. Yes. Jesus. We speak Jesus to our finances. Yes. Jesus. We speak Jesus to our health. Jesus. Jesus. We speak Jesus to our environment. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> In this meeting, we'll just be calling Jesus. We'll say Jesus and pray in the tongues. We'll say Jesus. We'll just call Jesus and pray in tongues. See, there are things that will be happening in the realms of the Spirit. As we say Jesus, as we call the name Jesus with faith, and we'll pray in tongues. We'll do that for a few minutes and we'll go into God's and That's how we end the service, the meeting to end. Let's just come up, begin to call the name of Jesus in faith Jesus. and pray in tongues. Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus is in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. It says uh, that the name of Jesus, every nation bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father in heaven. What is the power in the name of Jesus? The more the power in the name of Jesus is that it has, the name of Jesus has the ability to make all names of things in heaven and in earth and underneath the earth. It has the ability to make all names, whether in heaven, whether on earth, whether underneath the earth, all names back. Are you going to say? Yes. You know what say that? Bowing the knee is done to show one. It's, to, it's done to show one's difference. That's to say, it does, it's a way of behaving that shows respect for someone or something. Like you know what I'm saying? So, by the means showing respect for someone or something. This means that the name of Jesus has the ability to make all creatures respect him. Mm. Mm. Say, you know, the respect. When, you, when we call the name, you respect. Yes. <laughs> you don't respect nobody, you don't fear nobody. But when we call that name, you will respect by force. Yes. 
you have two heads, you think you are too much, you think you are this. The Bible never see at Alaga. When we call the name, whatever you think you are, whatever you think you are, you will respect. You, respect. you will respect. You may not respect me, but I have a name. The when I call the name, you will respect the name. Yes. If you don't want to give me what is mine, no problem. If you hate me, no problem. If you don't respect me, no problem. If you fight me, no problem. Whatever you want to do, no problem. But you know what? When I call the name, you will respect the name. I was telling one of the people that that, that, that when 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 um doing church in the previous mission street, no microphone, no keyboard, and two houses after us were just clapping hands on Sunday morning. On Sunday morning, you know, evening itself, we don't clap, we don't clap and, and, and play drums. So only Sunday morning, without microphone, two houses after us, a free mercenary man went to tell the landlord, is the landlord friend that we are disturbing him. And the landlord that finally gave, that actually gave us a place for church and knew from the beginning for some church came and started ranting and shouting. Say we are doing church, his friend, they met in a play and they say and, and, and he was telling him that, that we are disturbing him. I said, okay, we pissed him the guy. He said that time was nice, you know. And now they try that kind of thing and try that kind of thing. I hope for you. You know, we pissed him and we just spoke to him calmly and we went. 2 a.m. I woke up and I said, ah, this guy, I'll deal with your mother. You think you don't have respect for anybody. You know that there's some place people that we have respect for. After I deal with his matter from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., we didn't hear his voice again. His voice silent forever. See, you may say you don't respect nobody, but there is a name you must respect. Yes. In, let me say in heaven, on earth, on the earth. That means, you see, this is going to be very good. The fact is that the Father has insulted him and given him a name that is above every other name. And then I mention the name of just every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. So the only means that don't bow in heaven to the name of Jesus are the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm. Can, the, 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 that God Himself will not bow. It will not bow to Himself. When He wanted to swear to Moses, Abraham, so He said He sought for anyone higher than Him to swear. He said there was no name and there was no one higher than Him, so He swore by Himself. God will not, will not bow to Himself. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But every other being, every other being in Jeremiah, get no twenty-four elders, so children, they, they they bow. I mention that name. Even the people that is David, their boss, the devil, is bowing to the name. You see, sometimes it's just like, like I remember when the man of God said, Why should the native dog come and threaten you? When I am dealing with his boss, then what? Ah, ah, I finish his boss. They one small so when they don't have one rank at all, will not come and be threatening me. When your boss is bowing to, to the name, you should not even have it. You should not even have it. The airport should come close. Bowing of the knee also knees also speak of submission. This means that all knees submit to Jesus. Yes. Whether they like it or yes, I like the way somebody put it. Either they like it or yes. They must bow, submit. They must submit. You don't like it, you submit. You like it, you submit. To the name of Jesus. You see, so we are not here to come and please her. We are not here to come and talk things that don't make um, you know, sense. We are not coming in our own name. Yes. We are not coming in our own power. We came in the name of Jesus. The devil has thrown everything, thrown everything at us since we stepped our feet into this mission field. But you know what? Everything he throws, there have been sand that have been giving us a, 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 a pedestal to rise. Yes. Why? Because I didn't come in my name. I didn't send myself. I came in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, let me tell you something. My name has no power. It has no value. But when I call that name, all we need to do is to have faith in the name of Jesus. Call it and leave the rest to Jesus. Yes. <laughs> it reminds me of you should be able to say when you were in my um, mama were in a car, the, 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 the driver was driving and there was a truck in front of them or something like that. They were about having an accident, basically. And mama was shouting, Jesus, Jesus. I said, it's like, hey, once is enough. <laughs> once is, hey, he said, 
I know the way the man, the way some things, but they lost the comes. He said, hey, what is enough? What is enough? When I called the name in the, in, on April 20, 22nd, 2010, it was worse. At the age of 11, when I called the name, it was worse. The name is more than enough to answer for it. I don't need to kickstart it like that. Say, Jesus, 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 before you answer, no! What is enough? Call the name and leave the rest to the owner of the name to do it. Jesus. 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 <laughs> We are changing atmospheres tonight. We are changing atmospheres tonight. We are changing atmospheres tonight. Tonight is a, is a night where atmospheres will be changed. Spiritual atmospheres will be changed because we are releasing the name that works on its own. The name of Jesus does not need anything to support it. No, 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 no. The name of Jesus does not need anything to support it. It does not need a booster. It does not need a support. The name is more than enough to support itself. <laughs> Jesus. Number two. What is the power in the name of Jesus? The next power in the name of Jesus is the ability to make all tongues confess the worship of Jesus. One meaning for the Greek word tongue, which is the word glossa, is the language or dialect used by a particular people distinct from that of other nations. So this means that at the mention of the name of Jesus, all languages, without exception, confess that Jesus is Lord. Whether you are Hispanic or Arabian or whatever, whether either you like it or not, so long as you are in tongue, you will confess that Jesus is Lord. <laughs> so it's not limited to a particular location or a particular nation, a particular from the Lordship of Jesus. Those that will be fighting the Lordship of Jesus, they are, they are seeing the Lordship grow. When China tried to put the church on the ground, the church was just, I think they said, the Christians were just 15 million when they came with their communist policy. And every time they tried to put them on the ground, blah, 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 blah. after years, after years, they said, okay, let us bring the church back. Let's, let's stop oppressing them. Let's leave them. By the time they said, let us oppress, stop oppressing them. Let's leave them. They are the top 150 million. <laughs> they are tripled. You can't but submit to this name, no matter your tongue. No matter your tongue. No matter your tongue. There was an emperor who, who, who shut down churches in his time. No church should open. No church should open. It, when this COVID, not, um, COVID nonsense started, who was there? We remember all these stories. Shut down all the churches in, 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 his, in, his, in his country or whatever. I said, no church, no church should open. Nobody should do church in public place again. And it was happy that yes, I've closed the, I've shut the name of Jesus up. The name is not going to be called again. The name has died. The name has ended. And one day, okay, let me just walk around my city. And when he was walking around the city, he started saying that in every house he was passing, he was seeing people calling the name of Jesus. <laughs> people shout praising Jesus. People fellowshiping together. People preaching the word of God. Ah! As he got back to his father, he said, Amen. Please, you know what? I didn't know that when I closed the doors of the church. And now open the churches inside the houses. <laughs> Please go and open the doors though, because this thing that is happening inside the houses, it can cause more chaos for us. You can't shut the name. Every tongue confesses it. Close our doors, we will see confess it. Drive us from hell, we will confess it. Shut us inside our house, we will confess it. The devil cannot stop. So this means that at the mention of the name of Jesus, all languages without exception confess that Jesus is Lord. This speaks of total and absolute surrender. All languages surrender to Jesus. No matter the language, they surrender to Jesus. All we need to do is to have faith in the name of Jesus. Call it and leave the rest to Jesus. Leave the rest to Jesus. Just call the name and leave the rest to Jesus. Our job is not to 
call the name and start looking for her the name we want. No, 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 no. no. I think that's where a lot of the times Christians will miss it. You see, I was supposed to teach more things, but I, I, I believe the least thing is, is just prompting me to stop here. Because I think this is the major, the major in from uh, Revelation we need. Our job is not to call the name and start saying as it work or as it not work. I called the name yesterday. Let me go and see if it was work. It's just like sowing your seed and then you every time you go, you scatter it to see if it is growing. It will never grow. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Now when I pray. When I pray in the name of Jesus, I leave, I forget about the matter. I leave it. I leave it. I don't go back to it. I remember the, the other time I, I prayed for someone and the person said, oh, the devil told me, come and find out that if the prayer is not. I said, is it my business to make prayer work? <laughs> is, it, is it my job? Is it my job to make prayer work? My own is to call the name of Jesus on the matter and then I can't leave the matter. See, it is his business to make the thing work or not. It's not my name, sir. It is his name. Hallelujah. You see, if Christians can realize this, we will just call the name of Jesus with absolute faith and leave the performance to Jesus. Leave it up to Jesus. Stop trying to perform for Jesus. Stop trying to do the work of the name of Jesus for the name of Jesus. No, the, the power is not in our ability. The, the, you know, Madam, you see, the power is not even in our ability, in our ability to call the name. It is the, the power in our faith. The power is in the name. So we are simply to take the faith of God and put on his name and go and sleep. Allow his name do the work. Allow his name do the work. But what we must make sure we do is that we call the name in faith. Call the name in faith. Don't call something else. Are you get what I'm saying? Just call the name in faith. Just call the name in faith. That is the location of power. I know the power that is in that location. The power in heaven and the power on earth. That means to say, all the powers that ever will be, where I would ever be, that's where they are. The location of power is the name of Jesus. What a precious name. No wonder the song I said, what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name. In the name of Jesus Christ, our King. <laughs> because that name, that name is the, is the storehouse. Is the, is the location and the custodian of power. Ah, God would have put power in something else. God would have put power in somewhere else. And you get what I'm saying? Yes. But he chose to put power in the name. In the, you know why? Because you know, the name is most accessible. You see, one of the most accessible things for a person is his name. One of the things that a person will likely not forget is his name. And you get what I'm saying? Yes. One, of the thing, one of the things that people will easily hold on to is his name. You see, the name speaks of identity. And you get what I'm saying? And so God said, well, I will put my power in my identity. So when you call me, you call power. You call me, you call power. God, God would have put the power in maybe a, 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 what do you call it? A, a bottle of oil. He might have put it in a cloth. He might have put it in a, what else again? A, 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 a bottle of water. He might have put it in a different, but God said no, 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 no. You see, what if at the point where they are in in, 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 in trouble, they cannot have access to the water. Oh, yeah. What if at the point where they are in trouble, they cannot have access to water? What if at the point they are in trouble, they cannot have access to clothes? What would they do? And I'm telling you something. The name of Jesus is always accessible. Now. When the car was about hitting me, there was no bottle of oil there, sir. There was no bottle of water there, sir. There was no, there was no cloth there. There was no all the things that we do. There was nothing there. But the accessible name was there for me. Yes. I shouted it, and the car stopped. When we were about having the accident, both of us and Pastor, there was no the, the, the oil we are very anointed and left. There was no oil there to start spraying or whatever. No, there was nothing else but the most accessible, yes. the name of Jesus. Jesus, the, the most accessible. The name of Jesus. Why did God put power in his name? Because he's the most accessible. Yeah. Why did God put power in his name? Because his identity. Yeah. When you call his name, when I say John, John shows up. Yeah. 
when you call his name, he shows up. He says, I can call upon that name. The songwriter says, call upon that name, call upon that name. Speak the name of Jesus and victory we proclaim. Standing on the promises, believing by faith. Nothing is impossible when we call on that name. Yes. Why? When we call Jesus, he shows up. When we say Jesus, he enters the matter. When you call Jesus, he enters the room. When I was when I was the, the, the fast moving police police pickup van was almost crashing me. When I called Jesus, he showed up and stood in between me and the cat. Yeah, so that's a shot. When, 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 when the car stopped on the road and I was driving and passed over by the side and we shouted Jesus, we, as we called Jesus and I swerved away, he came in and stood in front of the car and he stopped the car. Yes, the engine busted, the bonnet crushed, but it was just a pavement he ran over. And how would that happen if not that the one we called stepped in? Yes. When we call him, he answers. <laughs> That's the job we have. Yes. You see, when, when Elijah wanted to contest the prince of Baal, he told them, call your God. Because know that the secret to power is calling names. Mm. <laughs> he said, call upon your God. You see, we will know who has power by calling. <laughs> you see, the sacrifice was not the main thing. The calling was, he said, call upon your God. And whosoever God answers by fire, let that be God. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. That means, whosoever, for us to know where power lies, the God must be able to answer his name when you call him. Yeah. If he cannot answer, it means that number one is, is that is, number one is death. Number two, he's running away from battle because he don't get power. So he said, let's go and call, let's call, let's call, let's call. He said, and when they call, he said, let's go and call. He said, let's go and call. He's like, he went to escort his friend. He's strolling, he's sleeping, he's taking a break. He's like, he's on a vacation. Because it's only normal where somebody can hear and you call him, so say yes. And if he say yes, say, I need you yes to appear. When Bell did not appear, they knew that he doesn't want to appear. But when Elijah called on Yahweh, Yahweh appeared. You see, let me tell you, the most accessible thing in God is the name of Jesus. That is why God put his power. What a loving God we have. Ah, thank God he didn't put his he didn't put his power in the hands of some men. <laughs> hey, some men of God would have been crushed today, would have been destroyed. Thank God he didn't put his heart, his power in 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 mediums, different mediums. Oh, some of us have died. Because when we need the power to show up, the medium may not be there. It reminds me of the story of you know one of my mentees. You know? One of my mentees who said he was, was going to pray for a, a, a cousin of his. And as he went to pray for the cousin of his, he was trying to pray for her, but he saw that her spirit was resisting. And she said, she called my pastor, called my pastor, and they called her pastor. And the pastor said, look for white cloth and put it in water and put it on her head. Hey! And they were looking for white cloth everywhere. White cloth was shown. He said, and it's that kind of situation that the devil will hide white handkerchief. As popular as white handkerchief. <laughs> he will hide it. Nobody there because he wants to make sure you die. And he said he was trying to make her understand that this thing is not in the medium. This thing is in the name of Jesus. He said, but she was resisting him. He just said, made a single prayer and went. See, this is the, the loving God we serve. He's so loving. He put his power in the most accessible Place his name. No, that was sleeping at night. Call my name. Mm. Hey, I will show up. Hey, Morokata. Hey, Sha. Oh, you are on the road. Call my name. Yes. I will show up. You are about to fall into a, a ditch. Call whatever the situation. Just call my name. I am at your beck and call. Sometimes we then need to ask, are we the ones serving him or is the one serving us? Because it is servants that you call and they are at your beck and call. They run and say, yes, sir. This is a God who gave him, he made himself so accessible that told, and he told us, just call my name and I'll be at your service. Ah, he put his power in the most accessible thing, his name. That even children can Call it. Adults can call it. Anybody can call it. Everybody can call it. But you know what? Only when you put your faith in it, 
will it produce results for you? Tonight, we are going to call the name of Jesus. There are areas in our life where we need God to show up. We'll just call the name of Jesus. Call that area. Call the name of Jesus. Just speak. That, just call the name of Jesus. It's enough. You need it's enough. Call that area. Call the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead and begin to call the name of Jesus. La Zuvri Sata Katosi Balaka Deshi Bangu. out there you've not made jesus your lord and personal savior um i would want to invite you to make this decision is the best decision you can make in your life and i encourage you to do it now if you want to make this decision please say this prayer after me dear lord jesus i come to you today i know that i'm a sinner i know that you died for me and on calvary street you shed your blood to take away my sins jesus i surrender my life to you today i make you my lord and personal savior because you chose me, I choose to serve and follow you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you, Lord. I pray for everyone who has made this decision. Thank you for receiving them in the beloved. And thank you for giving them the grace to serve and follow you all the days of their life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. For your love gift of any amount to Grace Life Kami Podcast, kindly use any of our giving channels available to give in dollars. You can send to Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. Account number 033-154-551-2013. Swift code M B G H G H A C to give in CDs. Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. You can send to account number. 033-254-551-2017 To give in Naira, you can send to Ecobank Nigeria, account number 554-102-0592 Also, for further enquiries, you can call us on plus 233-54594-7132 OR, send us an email via chimdiohahunaministry at gmail.com Today, remain ever blessed. Wow. Beloved, thanks for listening to Grace Life Komi Podcasts. We believe that you've been blessed via this episode. We request that you also remain connected to us via our other social media handles on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and YouTube. We are Grace Life Komi on all these platforms. Also, for more information about the ministry of Pastor Chimdi and Funke Oahuna, kindly visit chimdioahunaministry.org. You can also send us your requests and testimonies via email today through chimdioahunaministry at gmail.com. We are dedicated to feeding your spirit man with spiritual meals that we edify, equip, and engender your growth in the knowledge of God. Remain connected to Grace Life Komi. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Thanks for listening to this teaching. We believe you were blessed listening to this prophetic and life-changing teaching episode. We would like to receive your praise report of your encounter with the Lord through the ministry of Pastor Chimdi Ohahuna. To send in your praise report or make a request, kindly send us an email via chimdiohahunaministry at gmail.com. If you need more information about the ministry and would like to give a love offering today, you can visit our website via www.chimdiohahunaministry.org. Grace to you, Jesus is Lord.